big chunk of the Badger ammunition plant near Baraboo is up for grabs after a Native American tribe decides to no longer go after land that they owned nearly 200 years ago. News 3's Theo Keith went to the site to find out what's next here, Theo. Yes, Sarah, Eric, we're told the Ho-Chunk Ho Ho Nation's decision to terminate its plan for the site leaves plenty of questions. 1,500 acres once envisioned as a bison farm may now become a recreation area. What is clear is that the Ho-Chunk will not be involved. We started out with approximately 1,600 buildings. 70 years after the U.S. Army made the area south of Baraboo key to the nation's defense. We probably have less than 30 buildings left. It's almost finished demolishing what it built up as the world's biggest ammo plant. This is the first place where a place that made explosive materials has been mechanically deconstructed instead of being burned. But the Ho-Chunk, last in charge of this land in 1837, won't get any of it back. The Bureau of Indian Affairs says it won't help the tribe acquire the acreage, citing the need for a costly environmental assessment that the Army says it's already doing. We take it very seriously that the Army wants to leave nothing behind that's going to cause future problems that the Army will have to come back and take care of. Tribal leaders call the Bureau's decision highly questionable, saying they were disappointed that they wouldn't get back important ancestral land. The DNR now gets first crack at the 1,500 acres. The DNR said they would take what no one else wanted. So now GSA will need to go back to DNR and say, do you mean that you're still interested in the rest of the property? Kenny says the cleanup should be finished about a year from now, returning the land to nature. And a quieter place after decades spent building up for war. It's uh, interesting to mark progress by the absence of something in your old pictures, isn't it? The Bureau of Indian Affairs didn't want to pay for the environmental assessment, which we're told could cost up to a million dollars. Without the Bureau, the Ho-Chunk would have to pay for the land itself, which it's now saying it will not do. All right, Theo Keith reporting. Theo, thank you.